In this short tutorial, I will show you how to enable debug logging in the Semtech LoRa Gateway and Semtech UDP Packet Forwarder. In this tutorial, the following Semtech LoRa Gateway and Semtech UDP Packet Forwarder are used. The Semtech LoRa Gateway version 5.0.1. The code can be found at this GitHub page. And in the Rack A31 Pilot Gateway, it is installed at this location. The Semtech UDP Packet Forwarder version 4.0.1. The code can be found at this GitHub page. And in the Rack A31 Pilot Gateway, it is installed at this location. To enable debug logging, stop the TTN Gateway servers by entering this command. The loader library contains this file where you can enable the debug logging for several modules. To enable debug logging, change the value from 0 to 1. Here is an example. By the way, the REC A31 pilot gateway has no LBT feature. Set this flag to enable debug logging for HAL auxiliary functions. Set this flag to enable debug logging for functions to address the LoRa concentrator registers through an SPI interface. Set this flag to enable debug logging for functions used to handle FPGA register access for LoRa concentrator, for functions used to handle LoRa concentrator radios, and for functions used to handle a single LoRa concentrator. Set this flag to enable debug logging for LoRa concentrator hardware abstraction layer. Set this flag to enable debug logging for functions used to handle the listen before talk feature. Set this flag to enable debug logging for functions to manage a global navigation satellite system module, typically GPS, for accurate timestamping of packets and synchronization of gateways. After the library.cfg file is modified, enter the following commands in this order. First, build the Semtech LoRa library. Enter this command, followed by this command. Next, build the Semtech UDP packet forwarder. Enter this command, followed by this command. Next, start the TTN gateway servers by entering this command. After you are done with debugging, don't forget to set the values back to zero in the library.cfg file, otherwise the syslog file will increase in size very fast. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.